Wild Rockies Earth First is dedicated to defending the beautiful Northern Rockies, which includes the largest intact ecosystem in the lower 48 states. The Northern Rockies sprawl over the four states of Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, and Oregon, comprising millions of acres of contiguous roadless habitat. Grizzlies, lynx, salmon, bull trout, west slope cutthroat trout, wolves, buffalo, and countless other endangered and threatened species all call these pristine forested mountains their home. This rugged and diverse bioregion is still wild and deserves to remain that way. However, much of it is unprotected and threatened by the self-serving interest of logging, mining, grazing, and development. Wild Rockies Earth First has successfully helped stop the Cove Mallard timber sales in central Idaho by way of direct action tactics, such as monitoring for endangered species habitats and violations of forest service codes, the use of road blockades, tree sits, and media and public outreach. We plan to continue using these and other nonviolent tactics to defend the Northern Rockies ecosystem we are currently focusing on the Bitterroot National Forest, whose fate is being determined as we speak. Today I'm here to tell you before it is too late about the largest wild place in the lower 48. The place we call Cove Mallard up in Idaho State And the miles of roads and clear cuts that soon to be its fate Here we go So go to Idaho, engage in activities To alter, interfere with the felling of the trees If you do what you have to, you violate some legal code But if you want to keep it roadless, then go and steal a road You guys remember how a couple years ago How the people that blockaded a road One of their charges was some like a, a, a conspiracy to commit grand theft did uh, Sarah and the Dozer, they, they didn't charge y'all with that, did they? Maybe they will later. <laughs> Now they have a new weapon with which they will suppress Our efforts to keep intact this largest wilderness Under our constitution it could not survive It's code section 18-2005 So go to Idaho, engage in activities To halt or interfere with the felling of the trees If you do what you have to, you'll violate some legal code But if you want to keep it roadless, then go and steal a road Okay, do you guys have one final statement before court that you'd like to make? Uh, no compromise. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this law states, and I quote, any person who solicits any other person or conspires with any other person to commit any crime against property or a person with a specific intent to halt, impede, obstruct, or interfere with the lawful magic cultivation of trees or timber shall be guilty of a felony. So I'm soliciting and we're all conspiring. So come on, when the course rolls around again, everybody join in. Because after all, breaking the law has never been so much fun. Yeah. A line drone in the forest to keep it wild and free. A line drone in the forest behind which we stand firmly. And now I want everyone to sing along with me. Because to sing the song is to commit a felony. So go to Idaho, engage in activities To halt or interfere with the felling of the trees If you do what you have to, you'll violate some legal code But if you want to keep it roadless, then go and steal a road One more time! So go to Idaho, engage in activities To halt or interfere with the felling of the trees If you do what you have to, you'll violate some legal code But if you want to keep it roadless, then go and steal a road Cause if you want to keep it roadless, then go and steal a road
want room for the buffalo. The grizzly needs some place to go. Round up the developers, move them on down the track. Jack, we ain't fooling. We want the whole thing packed. The jailbird condor might have hope if the green people ever learn how to vote. We could close them roads down, move them off the map. We ain't fooling. We want some wilderness back. of people, more races, creeds and colours, will put their faith in deeds, not words, to make the land green again. They shall be known as the warriors of the rainbow, protectors of the environment. Let's go for a walk, girls. Bending down 
and steel in a raging that is real a tearing torrent you can feel feel the thunder growing thunder underground and in my heart the chains falling apart the wildness in my soul and for once in life for once in life i know i'm not alone for the mountains make our bones with the oceans in our blood our feet planted, planted firmly in the mud. We are alive, the burning embers in our eyes, the tingling touch upon our skin. And in the heat of passion, we begin to understand that we are of this land, that we are part of Earth. And when it's threatened, we will fight for all we're worth. We watch the dam dam come crashing down water rushing to the sea and now the river now the river now the river now is free Forest Service has its way. Over 40,000 acres of the Bitterroot National Forest will soon be logged under the guise of the Burned Area Recovery Plan. 
This massive salvage scam includes more logging than the Bitterroot Valley has seen in the last 13 years combined and includes the logging of 17,500 acres of unroaded areas as well as the destruction and degradation of critical habitat for bull trout, flammulated owl, lynx, and many other species. Fire is a natural and integral part of this bioregion, and the cycle of fire suppression and for-profit logging continues to harm, not help, this ecosystem. This destructive plan is currently in litigation. At immediate risk are five areas, including Blodgett and Elk Point, which the Forest Service wishes to cut immediately. The log trucks may already be hauling by the time you see this. Wild Rockies Earth First has been working on a multifaceted defense of this area, including forest monitoring, rallies, and the support of Alternative G. We are preparing for a long struggle of nonviolent resistance. We need your help to stand up for the forest and against the greedy forces that wish to destroy it. Yeah. <laughs>